I'm Sean from Shooty School. Today, we're going to route out all the channels on Easy Drummer 3's Mixer tab to Studio One. Let's get started. I have a new session here. And in my Instruments panel, I'm going to go find Tune Track and drag out Easy Drummer 3. I'm going to close the plugin. And down here, I'm going to launch my Mix panel in Studio One. And over here on the left, you might not see it yet. But we're looking for this button right here, which is the instrument rack button. If you click it, it will reveal it. And we'll see all of the plugins, in this case, Easy Drummer 3. Now, sometimes you can just click on this and be patient, and it'll open up what we're looking for, the routing. Or you can go over to this little arrow right here, this menu, click on it, and go to Expand. Now we can see all of 16 stereo outputs that Easy Drummer 3 makes available to you. Right now, if we hit play in Easy Drummer, we would only hear everything coming out the main left and right stereo output, and that's what's selected here. So I'm just going to click and drag and select the rest of them. You can see these channels populating. So now, we have 16 stereo tracks. They're actually not working yet, but they're standing by. The routing's already there in Studio One. They're just waiting for signal to come from Easy Drummer 3 when we uh, select the correct settings. Before we do that, I like to stay organized. Let's say this is a full mix or recording session and I have 100 tracks or 30 tracks up. I want to stay organized so I can see where my drums are at a glance. So I'm going to color them all. So I'll select my first track here, which is where Easy Drummer is. I'll hold shift and I'll select the last track and you can see them all highlight. That means I have all 16 of these stereo tracks selected. And I'll just single click once in the title of one of these tracks. And I'll color them orange, that's my preference. So now, when our mix session is up, we can see where all our drums are at a glance. Great. Let's launch Easy Drummer 3. Go over to the Mixer tab. Actually, go to the Grooves tab. Let's play a beat. Go to the Mixer tab. You can see all the channels in Easy Drummer 3, at least the ones that have a, you know, an instrument playing firing off, but they're all firing off out of channel 1 and 2. That's why it says 1 and 2 down here. And that is why our routing is not working yet. We're only coming out Easy Drummer 1 and 2. Not 3 and 4, not 5 and 6 yet. Going back to Easy Drummer 3. How do we get the routing to enable? Well, you can go up to this mixer menu right here, click on it. And instead of stereo, which is what's happening right now, even though there's not a little check next to it, we want multi. And you'll notice that these numbers will change. Ready? Three, two, one, click. So now, even though our kick is still going out one and two, look, the snare's going out three and four, the other snare mic's going out five and six, and so on. And if we look in Studio One, we can see these meters jumping. You know, I can uh, solo up this first track, and we hear the only kick drums there. Solo up the second track. That's just the top snare microphone and so on. So now the routing's working. So if you disagree with the default routing that Easy Drummer decided to give us, you can customize it. So let's go back to Easy Drummer 3. Let's say I want access to every single kick drum microphone. I don't want them all combined into the same stereo channel in Studio One. Well, let's just go through a quick custom routing that I might, may or may not prefer. It depends on your situation, what you want to isolate. So here's just an example. I want my kick in to be on its own track. Let's keep it on one and two. Let's take the kick out and put it out three and four. Let's take the kick sub, put it out five and six. Now, as you go through this, you might realize we only have 16 outputs to work with. So if your drums and mixer preset that you choose exceeds 16 channels on the mixer tab, you're gonna have to start combining them. So I'm gonna make some decisions. Maybe the snare top and snare bottom mic, maybe for me in Studio One, I could deal with them being together and I'll treat them at the same time. So I'll put both of those out seven and eight. 
The hi-hat, I want isolated. I'll put that out nine and 10. And as long as your drums and mixer preset has isolated tom channels, you can keep them isolated. And most people want to do that. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm gonna keep making some sacrifices even though it's not essential just to give you an example of what you might have to do if needed. Maybe my ride, my overhead, and my overhead mono. Maybe I can handle having all those on the same track since maybe they would receive a similar type of treatment. Maybe. I'll put those on 2122. And maybe I'll combine these three ambient microphones. 2324. I'm not one to use the percussion channels often, but I personally just like to get them off one and two in case later I add them. I don't want them coming through my kick drum track, right? So let me just put those out of sight, out of mind on 3132. And now, if we look in Studio One, everything is routed correctly. There's no toms in this beat, so we're not seeing them fire off, but they would fire off right here. You know, here's that kick. Here's the kick out track, here's the sub kick. It's a sub mic, so you might not hear it unless you got headphones on. You know, and here's both of those snare tracks combined. So I've successfully custom routed this. And now that you feel comfortable that this is a good game plan, you may take the time to name things. So you just double click on a name. I'll just put kick in, kick out, and so on and so forth. So successfully routed using 16 channels coming from Easy Drummer 3 into Studio One. Now, what might you do? You know, now you can add your Studio One effects or your preferred third-party effects to these channels individually, which is what you can't do inside of Easy Drummer. So this is one of the reasons to do it. You know, maybe that sub kick, you know, has too much too much sub frequencies to it, so maybe I'll put a high pass filter on it as an example. Maybe that snare drum. Maybe I want to accentuate the ringing. Maybe I don't like the ringing. Maybe I want to get rid of it. Generic but common examples I'm going through. And as you treat all of these channels individually and then you start mixing with the rest of your session, you're probably gonna realize that, if you don't already, that you're gonna to wanna to be able to control all 16 of these tracks at the same time. If you wanna lower the volume of all the drums at the same time, you don't wanna make 16 different fader moves. So we wanna take all these tracks and route them to another single stereo bus. If you don't know what that means, it'll probably make sense visually right now, so check it out. I'm gonna select the first track in my, of my 16 Easy Drummer tracks. I'll scroll to the right, hold shift, select the last track. So all my Easy Drummer tracks are now highlighted. Just right click in a blank area anywhere. How about right here? Add bus for selected tracks. We selected the tracks, now we're gonna route them all to a new bus. Let's do it. Here's that bus right here. I'll just call this Easy Drummer bus. Maybe I'll left click on just the name and color it. Maybe I'll do a slightly off orange color so I know it's the bus. And now we can control all 16 of these tracks because these tracks are now not routing to the master fader directly anymore. They're routing to this bus and then the bus goes to the master fader. So this is like a good stoplight where you can control traffic. I can turn the entire mix down or up at the same time. I can mute my drums quickly, or if I had my whole mix up, drums, vocals, keys, kazoo, I could solo the drums because I want to focus on them. Or, which most people do, is they typically like glue the drums back together on the master bus, or they EQ it, or whatever your trick is, saturation. So it's a good place to put an effect where you want to treat all 16 channels at the same time. So I'll just pull up my typical L2. You know, and now I'm limiting and compressing just a little bit my drum bus channel. So there it is. Um, we've routed all the 16 outputs. Now we know we can treat them, color them, name them, boss them out for more convenient control. 
that's how you do it in Studio One. So leave me a comment, leave me a like, check out shootyschool.com for more Easy Drama 3 courses. Rock on.